एक हफ्ते पहले मुझे एल के स्टूडेंट्स ने बुलाया कल मुझे बताया गया कि एस के कुछ छात्रों के विरोध के कारण इस कार्यक्रम को रद्द करना पड़ा अम्बेडकर जयंती के दिन अम्बेडकर के लोगों को बोलने से रोकना ये उनकी वैचारिक अपरिपक्वता को दिखाता है पर्सन हु इज अफिलियटेड विद भारतीय जनता पार्टी अ पार्टी विच हैज हिस्ट्री ऑफ बीइंग एंटी दलित एंटी मार्जिनलाइज कम्युनिटीज फॉर दैट मैटर व्हेन समवन गेट्स इनवाइटेड हु हैज प्रॉब्लमेटिक व्यूज बाय द एस्टैब्लिशमेंट दे आर इंस्टेंटली गेटिंग अ प्लेटफार्म watching news epicenter with me maria shakil campus face offs are part and parcel of university life in the country but cancel culture knee jerk reactions to political ideology is something raging out of control in the united states goes against the very ethos of our democracy today is ambedkar jayanti the birth anniversary of dalit icon and the man who drafted the indian constitution dr b r ambedkar Now Dalit scholar and BJP spokesperson Guru Prakash Paswan was invited to Lady Shri Ram College in Delhi to deliver a lecture titled Ambedkar Beyond the Constitution. But students of left organizations were up in arms over the invite and demanded that the BJP spokesperson be removed as a speaker. The LSR administration relented and Guru Prakash Paswan was dropped from the event. But this attitude has shown a very narrow minded and highly political approach from one of the top liberal arts colleges of the country in fact left student activists targeted paswan for being a card carrying member of the bjp their argument is that the bjp is anti dalit has no local standard to lecture students on the constitution or ambedkar adding that his lecture was only aimed to promote the agenda of the bjp what they ignored or failed to recognize is that paswan is a dalit himself and an assistant law professor at patna university as well as a graduate of the prestigious national law university he is a noted dalit scholar who co-authored the book makers of modern dalit history recently and his father dr sanjay paswan is a noted dalit historian Guru Prakash Paswan comes from a strong academic background though those in fact are his credentials to deliver the lecture but he has been cancelled simply for his political affiliation and purely the opinions of student groups now dr b r ambedkar himself once said that democracy entails a conjoined communicated experience freedom of the mind is real freedom and the denial of free speech does not deserve the allegiance of the people the liberals who profess to stand for his values are clearly dismissing them for the sake of politics so is this a clear case of intolerance by those who profess to fight against it against it joining me on the show guru prakash paswan we also have dr vikram sampath Uh, we will be joined by others as well let me introduce all the panelists and i'm going to go back to guru in just a bit anaga pavitran is member of sfi uh, dr abha dev habib is uh, associate uh, professor of delhi university cynthia stephen is a dalit activist and of course dr vikram sampath noted historian is joining me appreciate your time vikram i'm going to come to you in just a bit uh, guru what really happened when was the invite first sent to you and when was it cancelled uh maria thank you so much for uh, inviting me for this discussion uh, i'll give you a brief uh, date sheet of what actually happened so i was speaking at the jaipur literature festival which is one of the most prestigious literature festival globally hmm. and uh, some students of lsr were also attending it students of lsr reached out to me that why don't you come and speak at our campus on dalit issues i said why not let's have a discussion let's have a debate so a week ago i got an invite from the scst cell of the lsr that on the occasion of ambedkar jayanti let's have a session of yours specifically on ambedkar beyond constitution because we have known that since the last many decades ambedkar has restricted ambedkar has been restricted only as a leader of the depressed classes 
only as a maker of the constitution, but all his other aspects, like an uh, anthropologist, a sociologist, a foreign policy visionary, uh, an economist for that matter, has not been discussed so much. So I accepted that invite. But unfortunately, yesterday morning, uh, I got a message from the same person from the LSR SCST cell that uh, we won't be able to carry on with the event because some students, particularly from the SFI leanings, have uh, sort of raised concerns. Uh, but the larger point which I'm trying to drive here, Maria, everything is available on social media, everything is on record, and uh, people of LSR have also sort of uh, accepted that these have been the chain of events. But the larger point which I'm trying to convey here for uh, your audiences is that on an Ambedkar Jayanti, when the Dalito ke Masiha Baba Sahib Ambedkar, Desh ke Masiha Baba Sahib Ambedkar, his ideas were being discussed from one of Ambedkar's own people hmm. that was prevented. I was prevented to speak. But regardless of that, Maria, I want to make it clear on your show tonight that I will continue to speak, I will continue to write, I will continue to raise the concerns, assertions and aspirations of my community and no one can stop me from doing that. Yes, and Guru, uh, I'm looking at the message that was sent to you. This is sent by Astha Kumari and she says that this is a reaction based on a mix of recent developments in Karnataka and JNU and we would like to refrain the atmosphere of the SCST cell, especially LSR, from becoming a political space instead of an academic one. So how is your speech political and not academic? <laughs> Maria, only a couple of days ago, a news came that for the first time in the history of CPM Politburo, there is a Dalit member. Hmm. It took them decades to sit with a Dalit in a Politburo so I'm sure it's very natural for them to not sit with a Dalit and engage on intellectual issues. And all these narrative of Karnataka or JNU, they are their false pretenses because we have seen this on the ground that they have lost their relevance. They have become inconsequential politically. They have become meaningless in terms of electoral politics as well. These are the last few citadels. But for uh, we have to understand this very clear that it's not a private property. It's a government of India. It's a Delhi University. It's a public property. Anyone can go and speak. And I believe in our Upanishads. The Upanishads have said that let noble thoughts come from all directions. The ideal situation would have been that people from LSR would have given me the chance. They would have exposed me. They would have questioned me. They yes. would have grilled me. And that would have made the atmosphere uh, more intellectually rich, I think. They have committed a mistake. And I urge them, I can only urge them to do some introspection and not repeat the same in the future for uh, someone uh, from not your affiliation or from someone uh, who is... Uh, from backward community or from the Dalit community. Okay, Anaga, I respond to what Dalit Pas, uh, the, you know, uh, what Guru Paswan is saying. Why didn't uh, students of LSR listen to him? He, you could have asked him questions, and if he did not have substance, according to all of you, and it was purely political in nature, then you could have exposed him. He was open to that idea. See, uh, the LSR administration, they did not decide on holding a debate. It was a lecture of sorts. And we need to understand that when, uh, when, an, uh, when, an, uh, when an event is being held or when it is being endorsed by the administration itself, it, it confers a certain legitimacy. Because we would, students would not expect uh, uh, as pseudo-scientific or distorted narrative history, falsified history to be, you know, like provided to us. in, a, in Aren't the students of expected to see or hear all history. sides of history? To make their own judgment of what is the correct history. Yes, why certainly. are you saying certainly. that? Certainly. Why, are, why are you presuming? Yes. Anaga, yes, why are you presuming history. that what Guru would have said would have been distorted? He is a noted historian. Yes, he is someone who has I written a book on Baba Sahib and Ambedkar and the entire idea of Dalit in India. Their little RSS Prajarak, who have virtually you no know, academic qualifications, itself has given talks such as in Hansraj. So in, in Mr. Pashman's case, I understand, yes, he is qualified academically. Well, we expressed our disagreements, we expressed our political disagreements with uh, holding the talk. And that was communicated to SESC and they came to an independent decision. So uh, what SFI LSR did was, we uh, we highlighted the fact that this was Ambedkar Jayanti. You're holding a talk to commemorate Ambedkar Jayanti. Ambedkar, who was a staunch opposer, opposer of Hindutva politics, he had... Uh, on record said that uh, the scheduled caste federation of, of India would never align with the... Uh, Ambedkar, you are quoting. I am going to quote it. another part of Ambedkar and what Ambedkar believed in. But before that, Guru, come in on this. 
because we felt it was an insult according uh, to the student community my... it was an insult to oh. uh, yes. invite so guru you would have got a chance uh, to listen to students friend. there i want you to respond to student here no no my friend from the sfi i was just patiently listening to her and uh, right like you rightly pointed out maria that uh, you cannot operate on the basis of your assumptions i have columns in multiple newspapers i have had presented paper internationally and like you said that i've mentioned a book as well so i know what academic is i know what academic exchanges are you have to have an opportunity to have a free wheeling discussion you said that ambedkar was against hindutva you said was ambedkar was against hinduism but ambedkar was also the one who advocated for temple entry satyagraha you cannot selectively do that you cannot selectively take some statement out of the context and quote it let us have a discussion let us have a debate after all my friend we are coming from a dialogic civilization the constitution the mahabharat the gita everything the gita was based on the dialogue of between shri krishna and arjun the upanishads it was a dialogue between yam and nachiketa so let us have a dialogue let's not prevent the dialogue let's not uh, uh, stop the dialogue because dissent is the essence of democracy and today when we are commemorating when we are celebrating baba saheb ambedkar no one organization has complete claim over the legacy of baba saheb ambedkar okay. baba saheb ambedkar belong to each and every individual and will, across the world each and every ambedkar across the world note, you cannot claim Guru, legacy of him yes anaga i am going to quote in an ideal Can society b r ambedkar says there should be many interests consciously communicated and shared there should be varied and free points of contact okay. with other modes of association are you not being openly hostile to free speech and what b r ambedkar actually believed in can we also take the reality into account can we take the fact that uh, academic spaces uh, academy is actively being used to push for a, a blanket push for a hindutva agenda that the such speakers speakers affiliated to bjp rss are increasingly being given a platform while others are being actively excluded can we not acknowledge the reality that there is an active uh, propaganda machine which is working to achieve this I will yes, ask we should definitely create a democratic space that fosters discussion I'll yes we vikram sampath to respond to that uh vikram this point being made by this new generation which has its own idea of debate and any differing viewpoint is not welcomed and then this entire convoluted idea comes in that it's the right wing agenda what exactly is your agenda vikram <laughs> thank you maria good evening and thanks for inviting me first of all all my support and empathies for my dear friend guru prakash who's an excellent scholar a great author his book on the dalit icons of india is uh, quite an epoch making book which uh, puts into perspective dalit history of india in a new dimension uh now you know maria this is the intolerance of the so called left was there for you to see just a few minutes ago in the sfi activists uh, you know um, deliberation and this is not something that is only uh, what is happening in india maria i think it's uh, some it's it's a malaise that is worldwide where you know in the new york times opinion piece in uh, 2016 American journalist Nicholas Kristof had uh, outlined that all the fields associated with intellect and creative power be it the academia the media and the arts have been so occupied by uh, the the liberal so to uh, quote and quote liberal uh, you know uh, environment which with their deep entrenchment within the system it shuts the door permanently on any kind of dissent in fact christoph argues that the conservatives uh, you know account for only 6 to 11% of the professors in the humanities in america and their numbers are even lower for social sciences just about 7 to 9% and i think the situation is worse in india where all these academic fields she's talking about uh, a lot of uh, right wing being introduced i mean for for the last 70 years uh it was a monopoly of one particular ideology particularly in academia in the media and in the arts uh that time there was no liberalism there was no listening to the other side now and the same side would also scoff and say uh where is the intellectual heft on the so called right wing now when there are scholars when there are people who are coming forward who can give you a counter opinion you are unwilling to engage with them and this unwillingness to engage with dissent discussion and debate is the 
bedrock of intolerance and these people who go to town crying about intolerance are the most intolerant of all people it's intellectual fascism of the worst kind and those of us who have a different view from uh, the the leftist viewpoint are to constantly you know okay we'll try we'll try and connect with Maria, vikram sampath in, can in I, just a bit can i respond to that yes you have 20 seconds and then i bring in other uh, panelists see. the fact that i have to shout to be heard on this panel while the right wing representatives uh, guru bashwan and the person who spoke no, that some, is not true that is not true that is not true that is not true yes it is true no I no, no please I, 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 i know how i conduct my me. debates you cannot level that charge with all due respect i have to point out that there is a privilege that the right wing uh, is enjoying right now and this rage over anti democratic tendency of lsr it's it's quite ironic considering the fact that this government has time and again incarcerated students slapping them with uapa for their for exercising their democratic right to defend the irony is that dr ambedkar sumbhi uh, who is a dalit scholar activist and a relative of baba sahib ambedkar is languishing in jail as we speak he was arrested on the ambedkar jayanti 2 years back for so what for, another for, has has, has, has the entire action or cancelling of the speech of uh, guru paswan has to do with his affiliation with the bjp yes yeah, see, see our opposition okay. sfi lsr opposition so your not opposition is not what support. he believes in what his work says but it is about he being a bjp card holder okay we come you have to finish your point the ideology is false the ideology is yeah. divisive and communal in nature and okay. which not one by that- Yes, please go ahead, Vikram. Finish your point. Yeah, uh, I was just trying to complete my point. I got disconnected. My apologies. But you know what I was saying was every time uh, those from the opposite camp have legitimate viewpoints, we are constantly made to prove our credentials. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, I've had uh, you know this cancel culture and deplatforming targeting me uh, as well, uh, where to uh, careers can be assassinated, reputations yes. which have been built over decades can be assassinated by this malicious campaign where we will we will create a cozy privileged club of academics of uh, scholars and we will not let anyone else enter this and uh, all these arguments are very very specious uh, you know someone else uh, getting arrested and all of that those are different issues a university is supposed to be a place which uh, it's a bedrock of progressive values which allows different viewpoints uh, to be to be discussed and debated as guru has rightly mentioned if there was any problem with his viewpoint uh, he could have been you know openly tar- uh, you know dissected right there on stage people could have questioned him that is the way a, a, an intellectual uh, you know group operates not in this cancel culture and this has happened earlier maria i mean sai deepak another eminent uh, lawyer and author was prevented from giving a talk in a delhi university college recently that's right uh, earlier i think gd bakshi was also not uh, allowed to make a speech on the saraswati civilization in jnu uh, and these are the same people i mean uh, and then you want to have an eco chamber where it's only people of your dispensation only people of your ideological stance who talk to each other and backslap now the same is with literature festivals as well now in the jaipur literature festival that guru spoke about you have people like sitaram yachuri and others who have not written any books or uh, so but they can they can talk but the minute an rss ideologue like a datta hosabale uh, um, you know speaks there so many writers start protesting that we will boycott the festival okay. what is this intolerance why Absolutely. can't you hear another okay. viewpoint okay. and then make your uh, stance okay fine enough dr habib um, what sorts of speakers should be excluded from major platforms and why should that happen and why should it be based on uh, an individual's political affiliation uh see uh, my view would be that the university is a space where all our discussion should happen there should be a freedom uh, however what i want to say to point out in this matter that it was sfi unit uh, which uh, of lsr which brought the thing to the notice that they opposed the uh, Thing. and it is the organizers which who independently took the decision of withdrawing the invitation now such a discussion should have happened before any invitation goes out uh, and i think uh, any um, speaker would feel bad about the uh, invitation withdrawn in the end but these are confusing times and uh, if you look at what is happening around uh, you will see that intolerance the kind of things which are being said here Uh, we find in the real life something is happening. So 
for example the hijab rope we saw how education so whatever baba saab believed in uh, is the government following that in governing the country did the prime minister say anything on the hijab rope we have seen how the ram nami has been celebrated and uh, there are all kind of pictures so uh, students are thinking for themselves and we cannot deny that space also to the students right now the sfi student has pointed out i did not even know her name uh, maria that the quality of space given here uh, to different speaker is different and the next thing which i want to say is that what has happened in lsr today cannot be compared to what has been happening for last 5 7 years you see in 2015 when um by a car career um a center, study center was being formed in iit madras abdp not only wrote against it and called it anti national but went up to the mhrd used the institution to sort of uh, stop these activities what happened in rohit selmula case is also before us and how the machinery of the institution uh, mhrd to the university were used to stop an activity how speakers are stopped now what has happened in lsr is different Uh, the principal or the lsr registration has not come into the picture some students met of the csc cell probably to uh, guru prakash ji and invited him and maybe later with the larger discussion the uh, people who invited him uh, felt that it is best to withdraw it and to say that you know a person is wearing various hats we all are very very uh, many many hats to say that in for the particular thing this person should be seen as a person devoid of politics no, i'm not, not too politics. sure so even guru is saying that are, he wants to distance his academic work from his uh, from his uh, political affiliation ma'am i'm just trying to understand one thing from you is this is not for the first yes, time ending my sentence yes I'm this is not for the first time ma'am yes you have made your point ma'am very well taken is yeah. very well taken uh, you have made your point i am just trying to ask you one point here here is someone uh, the liberals are supposed to be giving space to others they are supposed to be uh, the custodians of free speech then how is this really being a custodian of free speech isn't this cancelling free speech absolutely we have to go for the free speech but after the index uh, the press freedom index is showing how free your space is today okay but uh, as far as universities are concerned as press everybody should be allowed to speak it is for the people to argue with each other to find what is the true path uh, this is what universities are for uh, but i want to say that what has happened in lsr is of a different nature it is a it is a discussion within the community student community which is taking a decision and that also has a space within a university it is different from when abdp was so the mhrd and labels some people as anti nationals say that you debar they are coming and lecturing in universities whether it is nevedita menon whether it is apurva nan and other people okay. or the stop of uh, plays being hosted so you have to view it differently no machinery was used Uh, you understand that the machinery is alive okay. today so so uh, guru the charge is that method. that abvp uses the mhrd because you have a government at the center here which is a bjp government and what the students in lsr did that was an example of free speech in fact that's what is being said by dr habib Dr. Abib is a very senior academic, uh, Maria, and uh, I'm really appalled to notice that, uh, as someone of her stature, she is uh, defending what happened at LSR. I mean, the the viewers of your uh, show would also be really disappointed with uh, her arguments that she is in actually in support of it. You did mention about Rohit Vemula, ma'am. Uh, I'm sure you would have read the letter written by Rohit Vemula, and he has criticized. He was an opposer of the communist ideology throughout his life. He had Swami Vivekananda in his room, so there is no point about that. You conveniently missed the incident where Professor Joseph's hands were chopped off in Kerala. Do I need to remind you of the incident that is happening in Kerala? I can give you a list of that, but the point is not that. let us not engage in what about tree let us have a free wheeling free discussion in a completely constitutional and democratic spirit why are you afraid of it let's face it let's have some meaningful conversation ma'am the event was on ambedkar beyond constitution and it has happened because in the previous decades 
people from a particular ideological leaning, they have propagated only one family, one institution, one political party as custodian of our freedom struggle. What was the role of Baba Sahib Ambedkar? Why do we need to discuss about it now? Ambedkar was restricted only as a leader of the depressed classes. The previous academics did so. I am sure you would agree to it. So let's explore him. Let's okay. explore the multiple dimensions of him. Okay. And let me make this very clear. Let me make this very clear that in the last seven years we have seen ABVP remains the largest student union of the country for a reason. And you cannot make such rhetorical statement. RSS today is world's largest uh, NGO. Okay. Dr. You have Dr. BJP Dr. as a part Habib, of it. A, a you have quick Bhakti response Mazdur, from you, which is the and then I bring in uh, Cynthia. Dr. Habib, go ahead. Uh, no, I have already said. I think um, uh, Guru Prakash is, uh, um, what, uh, you know, twisting uh, my uh, arguments. I have just said that it is unfortunate that any speaker should be stopped. It is for the people to uh, figure out, to understand, to debate within themselves which path they want to take. However, I have just begged that this situation is different from what has been happening in the university for last seven years. That is the only case I'm trying to make. And as far as freedom of speech and all goes, uh, the press freedom index of India is showing where the freedom lies. Okay, what is happening to the freedom? Yes. So, uh, Cynthia, uh, you know, so here are a lot of uh, sides of the debates that are being highlighted by uh, various panelists. Um, I am going to look at Dr. B.R. Ambedkar's point again. And it highlights how uh, the, there is a need for differing views and how that should be welcomed and that should be the culture of our country. Democracy is not merely a form of government. It is primarily a mode of associated living, of conjointed communicated experience. It is essentially an attitude of respect and reverence towards fellow men. Was that displayed in this episode? Cynthia, you have to unmute yourself. Yeah. Yes, okay. go ahead. Hmm. So, uh, before I answer that last question, uh, I want to just remind uh, our viewers uh, about uh, Ambed Ambedkar himself being cancelled after being invited by the Jat Path Todak Mandal hmm. uh, after they read a copy of his uh, speech. And f ultimately, he spent his own money to publish the speech, which is the iconic essay, or you can say monograph, Annihilation of Caste. So you will understand that Ambedkar himself was a victim of uh, being cancelled by a certain uh, category of people because they did not like what they saw in his paper. They asked him to modify it, he wouldn't. Now, this is the, uh, the response. I think that the organ in this, if you look at what happened then, uh, though Ambedkar, uh, I have read the co correspondence between the Mandal and uh, Ambedkar, and later on he says that you know, he had spent a lot of money to uh, even get it published, you know, to get things organized. And ultimately his response was the most, uh, uh, most decent uh, and uh, reasoned and rational response, and that was publication of this essay at his own cost. He did not go to town, uh, you know, screaming blue murder or, or uh, you know, talking about freedom of speech. He had a lot more dignity than that. And that's all I would like to say. I think the organizers are, are within their rights to uh, invite or if, they, if there is some dissent about that, disinvite people. It has happened. Uh, it's nothing new that has happened. It, has, it, is, it is good that uh, it, it would have been better if it had not happened. It is something uh, unfortunate which should have not been uh, done. But now that it has happened, what has been the response? That is what I would like to know. Okay. The, the response, response okay. I feel, being a, being a, a votary of Ambedkar and his life and views, we should take his example and treat this in a dignified way. That's all I would like to say. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, coming on this now, um, Anaga, um, SFI and students wing such as yours call yourselves liberals uh, is this not overstepping and placing limits on dissenting opinion certainly not we have never gone become anti-democratic what we essentially did when this issue came to our notice is we expressed our disagreement we gave our political reasoning to the SESC cell and it was them who made this decision in the end so we did not resort to violent disruption of the event or anything of that sort which is what ABVP constantly does 
uh, in Ambedkar University of Delhi, when the document Nizam Ki Naam was screened, uh, ADBB took to manhandling the students, vandalizing the uh, furniture within the classroom. They even destroyed the projector. So this kind of incident, that, those are not labeled anti-democratic or cause for a national debate. And this happens constantly across universities. Delhi University, may students are not even allowed to... Uh, students from L, uh, SFI and... Uh, as a by the left friends were not even allowed to uh, give in their nomination. Uh, this was three years back, and uh, we were violently beaten up. So all of these kind of violent anti-democratic and very blatant okay, anti-democratic. I'm going to ask you to ask one people. question to yes, Guru Paswan, and and if because you are not in agreement okay. with his ideology and you have differing views, ask one question to him and let Guru respond to it. Let there yes, be certainly. debate. Why, why, Let views why, be challenged. Yes, that is what human civilization is all about. People have challenged each other's views for much of human history. I mean, I think this is a completely unequal platform. Go ahead. Anaga, go ahead. Hmm. See, I agree with uh, what uh, I believe it is uh, Professor Abba who has a fight. Is it? Yes, go ahead. Anaga, ask your question I to think, Guru uh, Prakash. Uh, yes, I would like to ask Mr. Pashwin why he uh, chooses to be an ide Hindutva ideologue. Because uh, be it Gowalkar or uh, any other proponents, uh, Hindutva ideologue, they have come out openly and uh, rejected. The RSS had openly rejected the constitution. They had said Manasrudi is our law, is the Hindu law. Uh, and we know how Manasrudi dehumanizes the uh, uh, Dalits and lower caste. I, I would like to uh, ask Mr. Pashwin why he chooses to be an espouser of the ideology that uh, upholds Manasrudi as the uh, as the okay. uh, uh, as their constitution. Okay. Uh, when when Ambedkar himself had burned it. Go ahead, Guru. Uh, Anagya, my friend. Yeah, 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 Maria. Yes, sir. Uh, I think uh, people of India, people of India don't seem to subscribe to your viewpoint. And as far as Hindutva is concerned, as far as RSS is concerned, on multiple times. And let me make this very clear to you, my friend, that uh, Baba Sahib Ambedkar has gone to an RSS shakha. It was Ambedkar who said that there is no casteism in RSS. It was Ambedkar who said that RSS does not believe in any sort of social structure. Time and again, RSS has given this call. Today, the world's largest political party has received the blessings of people across the country. For the first time in the history of our country, we are seeing three Dalit women as cabinet minister in Uttar Pradesh. For the first time in the history of country, we are seeing 12 Dalit as central ministers in the Union Council of Ministers. For the first time in the history of country, we have seen such high representation of the Dalit community in these structures of power and governance. They don't seem to subscribe to your views. They seem to give their blessings to the Bharati Jinta Party time and again. It is ultimately the people of India. It is ultimately the Dalits of India. It is ultimately they who decide that who is going to support, who is, who is going to receive their blessings. So let's not try and impose our views on them. Let us believe in their, let us have faith in the democratic DNA of this country. That is something which we must accept. And I, I agree with you that as far as the institutions are concerned, the institutions uh, must be a space for open debate and discussion, not become an echo chamber. You cancelling on me, I have taken it in a very positive stride. But I humbly request, I kindly request you to, because you are going to venture into a public life, let's not uh, create this atmosphere of antagonism. Let's not create this atmosphere of negativity. Let's have open discussion, open debate. We might disagree with each other. Like Voltaire said, I might disagree with you, but I will protect your right to speech and expression, come what may. And I listen to you. I am willing to listen to you. Howsoever hard, howsoever uh, 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 difficult your disagreements are, I am willing to have a conversation. So let's believe in that. Today on this Ambedkar birth anniversary, when we are celebrating the life of a man who was a visionary constitutionalist, let's subscribe to his ideas and let's have faith in the idea of freedom of speech and expression, my friend Anakya. Okay. Uh, Mr. Pashwan, can I, can I respond to that? Yes, yes, Anagya, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Pashwan, please do not say those are my views. It was Gowalkar himself who said that uh, in, in his book, The Bunch of Thoughts, he said that caste is an essential uh, for a harmonious social order. It was the BJP National General Secretary of Bharatiya Janda Party itself that said uh, that it was caste is a genius of the country. And it was your BJP minister in Uttar Pradesh, Grogi Adityanath. He was the one who said that caste plays the same role in Hindu society that Paru play in farms and helping keeping it organized and orderly. 
these are statements from from representatives of your party uh, so do not twist it to say those, yeah. are, those are the views that i adhere to and in addition you said that you very nicely Anagya, said that you uh, would protect my right to speak but that is not the reality students in the country are languishing in jails because they they exercise their right to speak they exercise their right to dissent so when you say that you will protect my right selective, to speak i cannot see selective selective interpretation of right to speech is the charge that is there against the bjp government and against you guru prakash paswan Uh, no, no. Say. This is this is a very uh, selective quoting. This is a very selective quoting because uh, in the history of our country, we have seen only once that a Dalit person is being a national president of a national political party. You are completely missing the point. Today, when we are able to reach to the masses, when we are able to reach to the Dalits of the country, we are not seeing caste. If a gas connection is being given to someone, if a toilet is being made, we are making it regardless of caste, regardless of gender. You cannot selectively quote and make an assessment, make an opinion on behalf of it. Okay. Let us have an open mind. Let us have an open discussion. What do you think, Anagya? Is the reason that the people of India are constantly blessing Hello? Bharatiya Janata Party? Be it 2014, 2017, 2019, 2022, 2022, they are constantly blessing the Bharatiya Janata Party, and uh, we are been able to receive the blessings in terms okay. of universal okay. level suffrage. Okay, It now, is the democratic DNA of the country. Okay. The democratic DNA of the country must prevail at all cost, Maria. L let me let me bring Dr. Vikram Sampat and Dr. Habib now on our television screens. Dr. Please, Habib, I your question. Dr. Habib, your question to uh, Vikram Sampat. Please go ahead. No, uh, see, uh, one thing is uh, Baba Sahib value for uh, you know education, and uh, from a teacher's perspective, I see that what is happening to education, the education is going to become uh, out of reach of common people through NEP 2020. We see how uh, you know reservation in the name of reservation, wherever government jobs are there, government jobs are being denied. So in in the form of governance. Uh, you see that uh, the BJP is ruling the country, but it is neither upholding the institutions nor the constitution. And uh, 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 the so the whole idea of the Baba Sahib to bring uh, equality is being put uh, on the side. I mean, it's being rejected. And uh, the two minutes given to uh, Guru Prakash Ji is very nicely with an advertisement for BJP RSS. Instead of uh, responding to the pointed question, why he chose a particular path? And why he is choosing to be a BJP person over and above uh, uh, what Baba Sahib had thought about, uh, you know, uh, what his views about Manoj Prati and everything was. So he has responded to the question that was asked by Anagya. Uh, now uh, I'll give the final words to Vikram Sampath, Dr. Vikram Sampath. Go ahead. You heard multiple sides. Uh, sides. The bigger question certainly is. this kind of backlash that is coming from student bodies on campuses where campuses are supposed to be having that culture of multiple thoughts multiple ideas that culture is under threat go ahead yes so maria i think it is as a historian i find it very uh, unfortunate the manner in which historical characters get appropriated and misrepresented even it shows also in display uh, in some of the interventions in this debate uh, you know someone said uh, the hijab issue is one of the issue, uh, reasons why guru prakash was not allowed to uh, give give his talk or because the bjp espouses that in karnataka but how many of them have actually read dr ambedkar who had said and i quote him burka women walking in the streets is one of the most hideous sights witnessed in india ambedkar himself was a staunch opponent of burka and hijab himself uh, so historically you are appropriating and selectively cherry picking aspects of ambedkar's legacy uh, in his pakistan and thoughts on partition uh, what were ambedkar's thoughts on islam and uh, you know its conduciveness to uh, you know indian democracy those things are selectively you know excised out and kept out of people's uh, you know minds it's only what he said about the manusmriti if you're going to uh, you know quote that then let us also quote what he said about islam being a closed corporation that uh, you know it, it it indian muslims cannot be devoted to the nation uh, or, and things to that extent which uh, ambedkar wrote in that uh, treatise so these are all you know contextual matters i mean what golwalkar said in the bunch of thoughts uh, dr mohan bhagwat the current sarsang chalak has himself disowned from the rss and said these were thoughts that were relevant 
at the time when India was being partitioned, when there were troubles between communities, to hold that against every social body, every political organization evolves its ideology. What was relevant in 1940 is not relevant in 2022. So you can't hold that stick against any group or body uh, you know, uh, over several decades. So I think the manner in which all these historical characters get misappropriated, uh, and I think the lack of education there, that is very, very disconcerting. And we, we kind of twist and turn their legacies to suit our current political experiences, not knowing what was the relationship between those people. Ambedkar and Savarkar shared a very congenial relationship. Uh, he, in fact, Ambedkar wrote a very uh, laudatory letter to Savarkar saying, you're the only one who understands that the dismantling of the Varna system is what uh, will lead to a complete eradication of, uh, of the caste system in India. The founder of Hindutva, Savarkar, uh, advocated a completely casteless society, right. uh, an eradication even of the Varanashrama, uh, even as Gandhi was actually uh, saying that he believes in the caste system and he thinks that it is not odious and that Hinduism will collapse if the caste system is removed. So I think these historical characters are much more complex than, you know, shrill activism. And there needs to be that nuance with which we need to uh, approach these. Uh, appropriating them for political fights today is very unfortunate. And this uh, rising tendency of intolerance, of not being able to even hear another person's point of view, let alone counter and debate, I think that's very, very detrimental to democracy to say that we have not done anything anti-democratic by actually stifling a person's voice in a university. I think that itself is uh, okay. an oxymoron in itself. Okay. And uh, I, I'm, it's, uh, it's a very unfortunate thing. And as I said, I express my support and sympathies to Guru. Okay. Uh, Cynthia, you heard... Can I respond to it, Maria? Yes, yeah, Cynthia. Cynthia, please. Yeah. yeah. Can I see? I'm just, no, I'm, is... just, I'm just looking at a report by, uh, put out by the print uh, today. And it says, I'm reading the headline, Ambedkar Jayanti at Mumbai stiff called off as chief guest doesn't get permission to attend. The chief guest was Sujat Ambedkar. And the management denied it, saying... Outsiders cannot ent enter. The, outsiders would not be allowed on campus. What does Mr. Sampath uh, or Mr. Uh, Guru have to say about the action of Mumbai cities on this matter? I have just one and a half like minutes for. Or even the anchor. I have yeah, just I'm reading. one and a half minutes uh, for Guru uh, Pass One. No, no, we have just heard and you, this is what the problem is. This is where the problem lies that you can selectively cannot do it. In a Mumbai university, whatever is happening, you cannot extrapolate it and justify whatever is happening in LSR. You are not aware of the context. You are not aware of the right So then reason. in that case, but we have to condemn is what has happened in academic. Mumbai university exactly, just as we are condemning what. what has happened in LSR. Exactly. 100%. So how is this 100%. What, about I am with you on what that. is the context? I am with you it's very that, clear. Maria. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this it's is, very clear. Context is, is, is that not about, this Sujat is, this is an outsider. No, no, no. The point here is that it, if any speak, kind of... I did not of, speak when you were speaking, yes, ma'am. The, the, the issue here is that if it is about free speech, if it is about dialogue, and if any university campus is doing it, we'll be condemning it. We have done so in the case of LSR. We'll be doing that in the case of TIS as well. Guru, you get the final words. You're the man of the day. No, Maria, you see, like I said, that it must be condemned, but with a context. We have the context of whatever happened at LSR. We have the evidences, we have the communication, the posters were ready, the Google Meet link was created, but then I was uninvited. All of a sudden, only at the behest of some student with a particular political leaning. Hmm. This is not going to encourage. This is the greatest amount of disservice that is being done to the legacy of Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, the constitutionalist. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, the visionary idealist. You are just doing this great disservice to the great man who advocated the idea of free speech, who advocated the idea of debate and dissent. And for one last time, I would like to urge my friends from the LSR, my friends from the SFI, that please do some collective introspection. This will not lead you to anywhere. An institution cannot be an echo chamber. An institution is a space for debate, disagreement and dissent. Dissent is the essence okay. of democracy right. and we celebrate dissent as a part of our culture, as a part of our civilization. All right, Guru Paswan, thank you so much for joining us. Dr. Vikram Sampat, always a pleasure to speak to you. Anga, Anagya, you. Pavitran and Dr. Habib, thank you so much. Cynthia, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your thoughts.
We are slipping in a short break. Coming up would be the details of the most awaited wedding of Bollywood. Rockstar Ranbir Kapoor weds his Dulhaniya Alia Bhatt.